It was very useful in finding places where we'd done slightly dodgy things. So when we first ran it, we found out, well, we had calls to error, for example, so they're gone now. Um, and then we had things that could use head, and we weren't able to show exactly why that would always be safe. So avoid partial functions. And it would be really nice if GHC just had a really deep partial function analysis you could turn on with every compile. And say so it's something that would rule out the use of undefined and error, for example, in a module. So, summary. We have all the weapons we need to build really good software that's competitive with anything people are doing in open source right now. Uh, we can model effectful systems and test them that other people can't do. Because other languages don't have purity, which is the thing that makes this whole thing fly. We have quick check to do very thorough testing, way beyond the average guy writing unit tests in, in Python or something like that. We have HPC to check that quick check is good. Okay? We can force these things on every commit. We know not to be tempted by partial functions like error. We definitely know not to be tempted by side effects, because if you do that, you've given in and you've lost your advantage that you have as a Haskell programmer. Um, some little social things to be really responsive to bug reports, because if you're writing something in Haskell, people will look for reasons to see Haskell as the reason that they have found a bug. It's sort of perverse. Um, that's another thing. If the build system fails, people say, oh, well, I just, I'm not going to install Haskell. So it has to work first time, because there's a bit of extra pressure to not fail when it's a sort of crazy esoteric language. Uh, another thing we do is look at our competition bugs and make sure we don't have them before they do. <laughs> so uh, all these things together give you a whole bunch of uh, tools and techniques that mean you can get your application done further and faster than other people. I think we also saw this with Dark. Dark came out really fast and had you know, basically the API of revision control three or four years before the rest of the market caught up. So I think we know this works now. So, you can leave the Haskell vision. You want to write something, write it in Haskell, keep it pure, test it to death, use types everywhere, and the code will be fun because it's fun when it works and working code is the best. So, there you go. Please go and use it. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, then thank again. No.